News alert, this has supposedly been used to help stalk unsuspecting people since last year. Apple recently issued a notice about it, acknowledging that AirTags were being used for nefarious purposes. But how do you know it's happening? How do you know if someone's trying to stalk you? I'm gonna show you by attempting to stalk myself. For those who don't know, AirTags don't use GPS. They let iPhones and other devices let people know that they're nearby using low power Bluetooth. When you're close to an AirTag, your iPod, iPad, or iPhone can silently transmit that location to the cloud. This is meant to help people find their lost belongings, but this also happens when an AirTag is intentionally placed on someone. To set it up, you just hold your iPhone near the AirTag and then you use Apple's Find My app to keep track of it. Now, there are already some anti-stalking features baked into my phone that are supposed to tell me or you if an AirTag is separated from its owner and lurking or moving with you. Last year, Apple started notifying people if an unknown AirTag showed up with them at home. According to some police reports, it's how some people detected that an unknown accessory was planted on them. I was being informed that there has been an air tag that has been following me since five o'clock. They've been tracking me. Play, play the noise, let's start there. Okay. You hear that? And Apple says it's working on a way to try to show you that alert sooner. But how long does it take for Apple to let me know that an air tag might be stalking me? Uh, could it be too late? I'm going to put that to the test. First, I need a couple things. Two iPhones logged into two separate iCloud accounts and an AirTag. Then I'm linking this brand new AirTag to my producer's iPhone. That way, Apple doesn't think it's my AirTag traveling with me. Let's go. So I'm headed to a local coffee shop to activate the AirTag. Again, it's linked to my producer's iCloud account, not mine. Hi, Hello. How can I help you today? I'm gonna have, you have a green tea. Once this air tag is registered, all a creeper would need to do is slip it into my bag and wait. Now I'm going to leave this iPhone linked to my producer's iCloud account in the car and see how long it takes for Apple to tell me that the air tag is tracking me. So this is what it looks like being stalked. The app will show you the AirTag's approximate location when it's within range of another Apple device. In this case, it's probably being beamed to the cloud through my personal iPhone, and my producer is tracking its whereabouts on Apple's Find My app. In the meantime, I might even hear a little beep coming from the AirTag. It's really useful if you're trying to find your lost keys, and even more useful if you're trying to avoid being unwittingly tracked. Apple says it's working on making the beep louder. So here's what happened. I went about my day running errands with my producer's AirTag still in my backpack. I waited, checked my phone settings, and continued to wait, but nothing. It was pure silence. That is, until I fell asleep. At about 1.30 in the morning, the AirTag woke me up with a loud chime. And even though it was in another room and at the bottom of my backpack, I could still hear it and it was loud enough to wake me up. I scrambled to capture the whole thing on camera, but the alert didn't last long enough. During more than two days of testing, my iPhone never made a sound. So I contacted Apple to let them know what I found. The company says in a perfect world, you should hear an AirTag make a chime somewhere between eight and 24 hours after it's been separated from its owner. And you should get an alert on your iPhone when the Find My Network realizes you made it home. Apple's precision finding for iPhones released after 2018 will lead you directly to your own AirTags. You can't use that to find rogue AirTags yet, but Apple says it's working on a way to implement that in the future. While the unknown AirTag alert didn't work for me, this is all sort of still good news for iPhone users. Yes, people can plant AirTags on you to try to stalk you, but your iPhone has the tools to help without you having to do anything at all. That's assuming those tools work before it's too late. Apple says stalking incidents are rare. But if someone is trying to track you, their AirTag is linked to their iCloud account. So take the device to your authorities and Apple will try to work with them to identify the person behind it. 
All of Apple's anti-stalking features are free, passive, and turned on by default. That might give you more security than other Bluetooth trackers like this Tile, which has little, if any, anti-stalking features. The company behind Tile, though, says it's working on making more of those. And for Android users, Apple created an app called Tracker Detect. It won't automatically look for rogue air tags. You have to manually search for them. In my case, Tracker Detect told me that an unknown air tag was in my vicinity within an hour of me making it home. It allowed me to activate an alarm to locate my producer's air tag, but I am still waiting for that iPhone alert. It took two more stalking attempts with a brand new air tag before I actually got an iPhone alert but the notification was pretty telling. It showed me roughly how far the AirTag moved with me, as well as where I was when a friend planted it on me. If you want to know more about the latest tech, how things work, and where it's all headed, be sure to subscribe and comment below to let me know what topics I should examine next. We will chat soon.